Welcome to Simulator Adventures and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Oculus Quest 2 with City Car Driving. I made a couple of videos in the past on City Car VR and lots of people have asked me how do you set up the Quest 2 in the game. I'm going to be doing more videos in the future on City Car VR and other virtual reality games so make sure you're subscribed to see those. But right now let's get going with the tutorial. The first thing you're going to need is a link cable. This is the cable that I use uh, for my Oculus Quest 2. Now you don't have to buy the link cable which is really really expensive, you just need a USB-C cable. Specifically one that is capable of doing USB 3 to USB-C. Now I use this one, it's 10 feet long which is about 3 meters. Um, any more than that and people say that the um, ability of the cable to transmit data decreases so any more than three meters I wouldn't really recommend it you can get five and seven on ten meters I think even but um, three meters is is the sweet spot basically I'll leave a link to this uh, cable down in the description below but there are lots of other options out there this one's only 15 or 16 pounds so that's not too bad but um, there are other options out there but this is the one I use and can recommend you're also going to need the latest oculus software and you can download that from the oculus website now Plug your USB cable into your Quest, there you go, um, and we need to go to Devices. Now my Quest is already set up, but what you need to do is go down to the bottom, um, or it'll come up with setup once you've plugged it in, um, and as you can see here, just click continue, we're going to check the cable connection, there you go, it's going to test this to see whether um, your cable is a good enough link cable for your Quest. Three, two, one. There we go, compatible connection. 1.2 gigabytes per second, that's quite low actually, but that's fine. Um, USB 3 is the important thing there. Um, and there you go, Oculus Link has been set up. Okay, so when your Oculus headset is plugged in and the first time you put it on your head, you're going to need to say, allow access to data. It'll come up into the headset, you need to pick up your controller and say, allow. There you go, wait a little bit and it should say, enable Oculus Link. You're going to want to do that, click enable. Now take a little time. And here we are, we are in Oculus Home. This is what it should look like. When that happens, you can take off your headset and start city car driving, so let's do that. Okay, so here we are in city car driving. Now you need to go to settings, then graphics, um, and make sure on output device you have either VR goggles or monitor plus VR goggles selected. Now, if you want VR goggles, that will just show the game in your headset, but Monitor plus VR goggles is the mode I use because it means I can take them off and still see the game, uh, make sure it's all working. Now, city car driving and a lot of VR games are very resource intensive, so you might need to lower some of these settings to get your game running smoothly. Higher FPS is probably better than having a good graphics quality because the lower the FPS, the more stuttery it is and the more sick that will make you feel when you're playing a, um, a fast motion game like this. Now I've had a few questions about whether you can use the Quest 2 controllers uh, in the game as a controller, but unfortunately you can't. I have not been able to be able to find a way to set these up. It's kind of annoying. I usually have a steering wheel, um, so I'm not too bothered, but unfortunately it looks like you're going to need a keyboard, a mouse, or an Xbox 360 controller, or preferably a steering wheel for this game. And now you can play city car driving as normal. Just start the game up. And when it loads, you should be able to put your headset back on and you'll be in the game. Okay, so here we are in the game and as you can see, it's all working well. Now, what you can see is not 100% identical to what I can see in the headset. It might look a little bit jittery, especially when you're driving around, but don't worry, in the headset, everything is really smooth. It's just on the monitor and in the recording that it does look a little bit jittery. Now, you can't see this, but down here I've got a big... Uh, map screen. Um, in the window I've got a, you see you can't see it on the monitor, but in the window I've got a um, direction heading so it says north and yeah it just it's just working really well. One thing to note though is that you cannot actually uh, change the view in uh, VR mode. It's really annoying you're stuck in the car but that is how to set up um, the Oculus Quest 2 with City Car Driving. So that was how to set up the Quest 2 with City Car Driving. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe because it really helps me out. Um, if you have any problems, any questions, uh, let me know in the comments down below and also come and join my Discord server. Um, there's monthly giveaways and it's just a great place to talk about sim games. So yeah, Quest 2, loving it. City Car Driving, absolutely loving it. We're going to be doing more of that in the future. And I'll see you soon for some more Simulator adventures. Thanks for watching. 
subscribe to see more content from my channel, and check out these videos to see more simulation gaming on Simulator Adventures.